Hello Red Army, we have two important breaking news. Let's get started. Emergency meeting set to be called after Manchester United create embarrassing record with 0-1 defeat to Crystal Palace. As Man United staff angry with Marcus Rashford as Eric Ten Hag frustrations laid bare. One step forward, two steps back. After beating Burnley and Crystal Palace with two clean sheets, Manchester United lost 1-0 to Palace in the Premier League to again start an inquest at the club. This was their fourth defeat in a Premier League season that is just seven match days old, making it the first time United have lost four of their first seven games in the Premier League era. At the current rate, United are breaking unwanted records seemingly every week. The defeat to Palace was also their second consecutive home loss after not losing at home for a year. There are many new signings in the current team, but at this point, United seem to have gone backwards instead of building upon their last season which was termed as a success and a building block. The same old problems arose in the loss to Palace. The attack looked disjointed, big chances were missed, passes were rushed, and the defense looked shaky on the odd occasion Palace did attack. Last season's hero, Marcus Rashford has seemingly gone back to his old ways of frustrating decision-making, erratic attacking play, and being the player where attacks go to fizzle out. There is no proper alternative to the 20-year-old Rasmus Hodgland up front who huffed and puffed but is clearly not ready to shoulder the main goal-scoring burden for a club at this level. The defeat leaves United in the 10th position in the table. By the end of match day 7, they might well be closer to the relegation zone than the top of the table. Champions League place is already 6 points away, and despite the injuries, the performances have been inexcusable. Old Trafford was a theater of boos at the final whistle, and the crowd finally looks to have had enough. Things need to turn soon, but breaking more of these unwanted records is looking like the more likely immediate future of the club. In other news, Man United staff angry with Marcus Rashford as Eric Ten Hag frustrations laid bare. Manchester United fans weren't the only ones frustrated with Marcus Rashford's performance against Crystal Palace, it seems. United have endured a difficult start to the new season with three defeats from their opening six games heading into the match against Palace. Eric Ten Hag's side put in a promising display in the Carabao Cup earlier this week against Roy Hodgson's side, although Palace made significant changes to their side. Rashford was left on the bench for the midweek game in order to keep him fresh for Sadie's match with Palace. But the attacker was wasteful in front of goal with fans venting their frustration on social media. However, United supporters weren't the only ones unimpressed with Rashford's display. According to the Manchester Evening News, United staff were despairing and at Rashford's use of the ball. Ten Hag was even spotted pulling Rashford to one side before halftime to try and get the forward firing. But the pep talk failed to work as Rashford's woes in front of goal continued. Rashford was shifted out to the right wing after Alejandro Garnacho was brought on midway through the second half with United chasing an equalizer. Ten Hag saw enough from the England international on the 76th minute though as he was brought off along with Mason Mount for Anthony Marshall and Christian Eriksen. But they failed to make a difference either as United suffered another demoralizing defeat. It's now United's worst start to a league season after seven games in 34 years in an unwanted record for Ten Hag. They currently sit 10th in the table but they could easily drop into the bottom half of the table when the weekend fixtures are completed. United are also 9 points adrift of top spot in the Premier League with the battle already on to find some form to keep up with those in the European spots. Ten Hag will be hoping his side can pick up some form in Europe this week when they take on Galatasaray. United lost their opening Champions League group stage match to Bayern Munich and will need to beat Galatasaray to help their chances of progressing. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get all